welcome to another video from Creativo Solutions. You're actually watching the podcast series. You will listen to live content recorded from live classes. I hope this content will help you learn something that will add value. If you have any comments or questions, please post them below and consider subscribing to the channel. The audio you're going to be listening to is going to be focusing on the debate between profit and value. If anyone asks you a question about accounting and they ask you what that is, accounting is just a way of communicating financial information because in the world of business, certain accounts have certain meanings okay, or definitions. Right, so if someone talks about an asset, is an asset different to a liability? Very different, exactly. Right, so I can't have assets that are seen as liabilities or I can't show liabilities as assets they're very specific and that's the communication so that's the reason why in the first module you guys cover a lot of accounting it's because it's the basis anyone who deals with finance needs to have that basic knowledge of accounting and what different accounts are so what are the six main accounts I call them elements. Six elements. Yeah, six main accounting elements. We spoke about two just now: assets and liabilities. Okay, let's write those two down: assets and liabilities. What else do we get? Journal. Okay, those are journals. Journals aren't elements. Anything else? Income? Expenses. Expenses. Capital. And drawings. Those are the six accounting elements. Assets, liabilities, income, expenses, capital, and drawings. Those are the six accounting elements that we would have when we're looking at this the language for communicating information. Right, so your role as the decision maker. Okay, something else that I can maybe add to your answer here is decision making. So yes, we're managing the business's finance, but it's always going to be focusing on decision making. What is decision making? What is decision making? Making the right decisions. It's choosing between options. Okay, you can't have two things, okay? You can only have one. one. Right, so you're either going to go with this product or that product. You're either going to go with this service or that service. Okay, so that's decision making. Right, you, you can't choose both. You have to choose one because resources are limited. That's why I like what you said earlier in terms of setting a budget. Resources are limited. If resources are limited, we need to be careful where we allocate those resources because we need to maximize value. We need to maximize wealth for our investors, okay, for our shareholders. Right, so those are the six main accounting elements that you need to know, okay, because they do come up again. In this module, you're not going to be focusing on generating accounting journals, generating ledgers, generating bank recons, etc., etc. Okay, here you're going to be focusing on decision making. Right, so now I know all that stuff. Now, what am I going to do with that information? Okay, that's the key. So that's how things change quite a bit. Here, it's looking at analysis and decision making. Okay, that's the main focus at a level two um, finance level. Okay, so financial management two is going to be looking at that. Um, what do I have okay, in terms of information? How do I use that information to make a good decision? That's the key. Right, so coming back to the format of the course, these elements were, do you agree? Okay, I want you to quickly define them for me. So what is the definition of an asset? Asset is everything that can be 
converted into into capital. Like, Not quite. Okay, I said it's everything that business owns. That's better. Okay, so resources controlled by the business. business. That's good. That gives rise to future benefits. Okay, that's the definition. Mm -hmm. What's a liability? Keyword there is what? Resources. No, not resources. Assets are resources. Mm -hmm. What are liabilities? Uh, like rent? Rent isn't a liability. Rent is an expense or rent could be income. Think about a liability. What does that mean? Something you have no control over. No. You do control your liabilities because you decide how many of them you want. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Okay. Uh, give me an example of a liability. Could CAPEX be a liability? CAPEX, no. CAPEX is spending money on capital, which is assets. Capital so expenditure. Capital expenditure, exactly. No, that's not right. Think about liability. Do you have any student loans? Mm -hmm. Okay. What is a student loan to you? <laughs> Why? Because I have to be paid back. Exactly. That's a liability. A liability is an obligation, okay, from a past event that gives rise to an outflow of economic benefits or benefits okay that's the definition of a li liability keyword there obligation. obligation right so any liability will meet that definition mm -hmm. okay so is a student loan an obligation yes, yes. okay because you'll have to pay yeah. the provider of it okay is a bond on a house a liability so yes, because yes, you have to pay it back. Is a credit card a liability? You have to pay it back. Yes. Is a creditor a liability? Uh, yes, you have to pay the creditor. Uh -huh. Okay, remember creditors are who? Uh, people that we own. Correct. Creditors are people who you've bought goods from. Exactly. Right. A creditor is a supplier who has sold goods to you. So from your perspective, you've bought goods on credit from that supplier. They're your creditor. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is the definition of income? Uh, cash flow into the Yes. Okay. You don't have to talk about cash. It could be just an inflow. Mm -hmm. It doesn't always have to be cash. Inflow of benefits. Expense? Outflow of benefits. Yes. The opposite. Capital. Uh, capital is, uh, is the amount of money a business has in their disposal. From who? Uh, from from uh, shareholders. And what are they called? Owners. Owners. Okay. Yeah. Capital. Money has contributed by the owners. Mm -hmm. Drawings. Drawings is money taken out by the owners. Correct. The opposite. Nice. Okay. So taken by the owners. Right. So those are the definitions. That's something that you need to take away from your first module. Okay. okay so you need to know what these different accounts are. If you don't know what they are, you can't do much with them in terms of decision making. Okay. Because we need to, we need to understand the language. That's the key. If you don't understand the language, you're never going to know what's being said or what's What's what being communicated? Okay, the understanding. Right. If you know what those words mean in terms of finance, you'd be able to make decisions. Okay. Right. So coming to your textbook, you'll see chapter one is looking at the role of the financial manager. What do you think the role is? Decision making. Good. Okay. So their main role is to make decisions. Yes, okay, so role of the financial 
manager. Definitely their focus is definitely decision making. Right, and decision making on what? What decisions are they going to make? The, the, the decision making is going to be based on what? Um, on finances. Okay, and what does that involve? Uh, spending on finances. Yes, okay, so finance is the focus when dealing with financial management, okay? Obviously, you're managing finance. So if I'm looking at the role of the financial manager, what things can we do with money? Can we invest it? We can invest it. Yes, you can. We can purchase equipment. Yes, so you can use it, so you can spend it, so that will be budgeting or spending. Spending, that's fine. So is, uh, is paying human capital also... Salaries and wages, operations, yeah. Operations, yeah. Operating, you can use it for operating, day-to-day -day running of the business, sure. CapEx. Correct. Buying assets. Capital expenditure. So that's investing in assets. Investing. Or purchasing assets. Good. Okay, what else? Anything else? Is it uh, like CSI? Um, okay, that could be a consideration, but that's more that's more like donations and doing good and um, you would definitely consider that as being part of the financial manager's role, sure. Um, maybe just to add budgeting again then, but budgeting for different projects or different purposes. Yeah, different objectives. Possibly, yeah, fine. Okay, so if I look at the objectives, you'll see they talk about the objectives of the business, which always is to create what? Profit or value? Mm -hmm. We spoke about it. Businesses do what? That's getting profit. Generating? An income. Value. Wealth. Okay, that's what businesses need to do. Okay, so I want to ask you this. Have you started or are you wanting to start a business? I, I want to start a business or I'm going to start a business. Okay, so what do you want to do? I want to generate income. But from what? Or What's the business going to be about? Or, or, or it's trailer, renting out trailers. Okay, there we go. All right, so renting out trailers. Okay. So you're looking at an opportunity to create value and wealth from that business, okay? Do you think you're going to be generating a profit when you start the business? When I start the business, uh, post after I've bought the trailers, yeah. Will you? Not so month number one, not as much profit as to... Month number one. Is month number one going to be profitable? Not marginally profitable. Probably not. Uh, is month number two going to be profitable? I'd say month number six. Also probably not. Okay, so do you agree profit, if that was the, if that was the focus, would you have started the business? Why not? Because the business takes time to become... Profitable. Profitable, exactly. Okay, so can... An unprofitable company continue Operations. to operate? Question mark. Can a profitable company go bankrupt? What are your answers? Can an unprofitable company continue to Operate, yes. Why do you say yes? It can, it, it can manage to generate profit as, as time goes. Yeah, so profit is an accounting measure of income minus expenses. Financial management focuses on what? On management. Of managing money. cash, managing money. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... 
Do you agree businesses that generate cash flow that's positive, will they continue operating? Can a profitable company go? Okay, we're not talking about the profitable company, unprofitable, we're talking about cash flow. Okay. If a business is generating positive cash flow, will that business continue to operate? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. If the company has a problem with cash flow, will they continue to operate? They can. But Possibly, but it's going to be very difficult to. As time goes, goes on, they might see themselves uh, being faced with bankruptcy. And depending Why? on how they react on that, they might even have to liquidate the company. Correct. Okay, so profitable companies can go bankrupt because bankruptcy is what? Assets less than... Liabilities. Right. That what determines if a company is bankrupt or not. Mm -hmm. It's not about whether they make a profit or loss. It's about whether they can pay off their assets or not. Okay. okay. Because we need to take out loans to buy assets. Certain assets are very expensive, very costly. A business can't buy a building cash. Some businesses can, but most businesses can't. So for most businesses, they're going to have to use loans to buy those buildings to operate and to generate income. Okay, right, so to give you some context to this, I asked you, can, I said, can an unprofitable company continue to operate? The answer is yes, and let's have a look at an example. Okay, so, you're familiar with Twitter, right? Okay, these are the financial statements of Twitter, and this is a public company. Public companies have to present annual. annual reports. So this annual report came out recently from Twitter. It's a public company, so anyone can find this information on the internet. Okay, it, it's presented to the public. And do you think Twitter is profitable? Yes or no? Can't say it's profitable. Okay, how much do you think they're generating as profit? Obviously, this is an American company, so dollars. How much dollars do you think Twitter is making in profit? Say millions of dollars. How much million? Rough uh, estimation. Per annum? Per annum, let's say 600 million. Okay, 600 million dollars in profit okay that's that's the estimate okay that's the the guess okay do you think twitter has assets uh, a lot of things they need servers right so how much assets do you think they have So 150 million. How much liabilities do you think they have? Ninety-eight million. Okay. Right. So those are your estimates in terms of what you think Twitter has. You think Twitter has a profit of 600 million? You think Twitter has assets of 150 million dollars, okay? And liabilities of 98. Right, so let's have a look at the actual. Right, so actual from the annual report, 2017, which is for the year end of 2016. Let's have a look at what they actually have. Okay, so if I look at Twitter's, let's just look at the users as well. How many people th do you think use Twitter? Four million people use Twitter. Okay, let's have a look at what the actual number is in terms of number of people that use Twitter. Right, Twitter is used, according to the annual report, by 319 million people worldwide. Okay, so 319 million people use Twitter. 
Okay, that's their user base per month. Let's have a look at their performance. So, there's the year end of 2016. Um, no, this is in percentages. We need the one with the RAND values. Okay, that's the balance sheet. There's the statement of operations. Great. Comments. So this is in thousands, so that's five hundred and seventy seven million dollars profit or loss. It's in brackets, so that's a loss. Okay, so in 2014, they made a $577 million loss. In 2015, they made a $521 million loss. In 2016, they made a $456 million loss. Loss of $456 million dollars good or bad? Extremely bad yes okay but remember is this about profit or is this about value what is financial management focusing on value. exactly financial management focuses on value not profit. profit so is Twitter still a valuable company well they're valuable for 319 million people over the last 12 months those are the type of numbers that these um, that this company has in terms of the user base. Okay. Earlier we spoke about assets and liabilities in terms of an estimate. Let's see how much they actually have. Okay. So if I go to the balance sheet and I look at the assets, how much assets does Twitter have? Close to seven billion. Yes. Six point eight billion dollars. Is that good? Extremely good. Okay. Six point eight billion dollars worth of assets. Liabilities, let's have a look. Total liabilities, there's it. How much is that? Two point two billion okay so again question is Twitter valuable Extremely valuable. yes if they sell their assets and realize cash to pay off their liabilities okay if we're just looking at the paper numbers for it mm -hmm. they would have in excess of so the owner's equity will a minus L Okay, so 6.8 minus 2.2, 4.6 billion dollars. Good or bad? Good. Very good. Valuable company? Yes. Right, and just to give you an idea of this, we saw the statement of comprehensive income. Okay, profit and loss, this statement. Okay, this is what they've been seeing year after year after year since they were created. So this is actually the money that they've been using. Net profit. Net profit. Net profit. This is not net profit. This is a net loss. Net loss. Yeah. Okay. So when focusing on Twitter, Twitter has made loss after loss after loss year on year. And that's a big loss. That's not, we're not talking a few million. We're talking a few hundred million dollars as a loss. Do, does the company still exist? Does the company still operate? Will the company still operate? Of course. Okay, why? The company is valuable. Assets exceed liabilities. Their loss 
doesn't account for much because there's still value being created for 319 million people. Okay. So earlier I asked you, can an unprofitable company continue to operate? The answer is yes. And it's yes because we've got a very good example here. We just look at Twitter's financial statements and we can see how successful an unprofitable company can be in terms of creating value and not focusing on profit. Okay, so they're focusing on creating value. That's why I asked you, if you're starting a business, renting out trailers, you're not going to be profitable in the first year or second year. Okay, few businesses are profitable in the first or second year. Some are, some aren't. It all depends on how you operate and how you manage your business, how you manage your finances. Okay, that's what it comes down to. It comes down to financial management. Operations. Are our operations good or bad? Okay, meaning are we using our resources effectively? Okay, for example, if you're looking at renting our trailers, okay, renting our trailers is better than selling trailers. Why? Those assets are still yours. Okay, you still have those assets because they belong to you as the owner. They're going to generate future economic benefit. If you sell those assets, you no longer have them. Okay, so then they can't generate income. So that's why assets are actually more important than anything else. If companies have assets, that's a good sign. As long as the companies can manage them and as long as the company can use them. Right, so if we're using our assets, that's good. If you've got assets and they're doing nothing, good or bad? bad? It's bad. Okay, no one wants an asset that's not being used because that asset can be used elsewhere. Right, so for example, how many cars can you drive? At a time. What will you want? Exactly. You can only drive one vehicle at a time. Okay, so if you've got more than one vehicle... In terms of usability, unless other people are using those vehicles, so if you're running a business, having more than one vehicle makes sense because other people would be needing those vehicles to conduct their business. Okay, that's just one example. Right, so an individual can only drive one car. Right, so in terms of usability, only one car can be used by one person. Okay. Having more assets that aren't being used is a waste because those assets could have been cash or it could have been an investment or it could have been property or it could have been something else that could have been generating income. Okay. Obviously, you can have multiple cars. Maybe you're a collector. Right, but then you see, you're looking at things as being an investment for the future because if you're collecting vintage cars, those cars could then become valuable in the future. See, that's different. Okay, but the, the point I'm trying to get across is in accounting, they talk about assets as being resources that are controlled that give rise to future benefits. If an asset doesn't generate future benefits, that's bad financial management. Okay, because those assets need to be used to generate the benefit so they meet their definition. Okay, idle assets or assets that aren't being used aren't really worth while okay it's better to have an asset that's generating income than to have an asset that's not make sense, Makes sense. right so that's one example let's have a look at facebook do you think they're a good company, I think they're a great company. yes okay so here's the consolidated set of income are they generating a profit or a loss profit. 10 billion dollars profit okay so we saw twitter facebook profit 10 billion i'm going to round it off it's 10.2 actually 10.2 billion dollars good or bad good company right operation operations are Good, okay, because operationally they're doing well because they're generating a profit. Income exceeds expenses. Do you think they've got assets? I think they do. Yes, they do. Let's see how much they've got. Total assets? 64.9 billion. 64 
So we'll round it off. $65 billion worth of assets. Let's check their liabilities. Total liabilities for this company, 5 point. 5.8, yes. Okay, good. Okay, so 5.8, I'm going to round off to 6. 6 billion. Right, so comments. Good or bad company? Good company. Profitable and assets exceed liabilities. And that concludes the audio from the live class. Thank you for listening. Consider subscribing to the channel and if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button and we'll keep creating more to help you.